Hi everybody. I'm doing good, Curtis. Hope you're doing good, bro. Good morning. How are you? Where is my RTA? Good morning. How are you? Welcome <laughs> to the Monday afternoon build stream. That's what we do over here on the Grim Green YouTube channel every freaking Monday. We got to get this week off. We got to get this week started off right. You know, we set up some fresh vapes so that this week we can have some dope fresh vapes to vape. And last week, we guys, we guys, I just made up a new word. We guys. <laughs> Good evening to Germany from the United States, XI909. I'm happy to have you here. Oh, you want a shout out, FPV? You're going to have to try a little bit harder than that. JK, shout out, FPV. So last week, what we did on the build stream, you guys, was all mouth-to-lung stuff. We did four mouth-to-lung tanks, and we kind of really showed off the newest KFUN, the KFUN Light Plus 2020 or 2021. This one. Wow. This one that's still set up. I still have all of my mouth to lungs from last week still set up. I've been vaping them all week long. K-Fun, Pioneer, Dwarf, and the Ether. So at the end of this, we can compare all eight of them together. Have eight mouth to lung RTAs all ready to go. But what we're going to be focusing on today, for the most part, Artemis. Artemis just arrived from Cthulhu. I've reviewed some Cthulhu stuff in the past. Uh, I'm not a crazy huge fan of Cthulhu, but they've released some cool stuff. They've released what I, I would even consider them to be bangers. John Haymaker, bangers, bro. So we're going to be doing this. Ooh, let's take a real quick look at it. No, oh, that's all you get. That's all you get to see right there. But we're going to be doing that. And next to me, I also have, due to popular request, this is the Mike Vapes Intake MTL RTA. So we're going to be building that up and comparing it, as well as the Reload Vapor Mouth to Lung RTA, which I've got some mixed feelings about this Reload MTL RTA, not a huge fan of it. And then lastly, I don't even see Pancakes here today, but Pancakes has been requesting the Aries 2 getting thrown up into this lineup as well. So from last week, we're going to have the K-Fun, the Pioneer, the Ether, and the Dwarf. And then right now, we're going to have the Artemis, the Aries 2, the Reload, and the Mike Vapes Intake MTL RTA. Holy crap. Smash that like button if you want to see me see if you want to see me try to wick all this stuff up. Cheers. Hope everybody has some coffee today. Shout out to Mike Kurth. Swish it around, you know. Swish it around. Oh well, look who decided to show up. Is it Feebo? Good job, Feebo, because I'm using some Feebo coils today. I was thinking about you today, British eyes. In, a, in the weirdest way possible, I was thinking about you today, so I wanted to use some of your coils. Let's, let's jump in to this, the Artemis. Let's do a quick little Artemis show and tell. Now, this is new to me, but this RTA has been out since, I would say, September 2019, maybe August, September 2019, literally just 2019. Shut up. Not 2019, not 2019, 2020. <laughs> this is a September, August, September 2020. It's not Fibo. Oh, it's Fabio. Fibio. Why do I keep saying Fibo? It's Fabio. Sorry. 
I'm gonna call you Feebo now, British Eyes. I hope that's cool. This is new to me. Just arrived just last week in the vlog. And what am I gonna do? Get a get an RTA and not build it on the build stream? So here you go. You get an extended warranty if you want to uh, if you want to do that. You get instruction manuals. You get uh, spare parts, things, little blue screwdriver, O-rings. These uh, sort of knurled gold bits are the airflow, and they go straight from huge open, not huge, but restricted lung all the way to a mouth to lung. Now, on the inside, here's your RTA. I personally feel. I personally feel like this is a slick looking RTA. I'd, I'd be interested to see what everyone in the chat has to say, but here's a few things just externally that I really like about it. It's got that classic look, man. Looks like an old K-Fun, looks like an old RDTA. I like the stainless at the top. I like the glass down here at the bottom. I really like this notch cut into the top. This is where you're gonna unscrew to fill. And this little, this little ledge here, this knurled ledge, dude, it is really nice for kind of grabbing and unscrewing it. Now, this is threaded, so it's not any sort of quick release on the top, but it does have a very hyper dorky drip tip that I just love. I've been all about dorky drip tips lately. Here, this is what's on the ether right now, is that dorky, dirty, dirty dorky drip tip. I have my Just Try It on, uh, on Golden Boy here. Look at all that lip gunk. You want a real macro shot of some really gross lip gunk? Dorky drip tips. I'm just a huge fan. 510, by the way, drip tip in the top. So going down the bottom, you're going to have an AFC here. And on its fullest open right there, it, it looks like a B-plug critical powers. <laughs> Okay, well, you know, I don't look, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna judge you wherever you shop for B plugs, that's fine. AFC right here. It doesn't click, but it is pretty smooth. It's pretty smooth. I apologize for the conditions of my hands. These build streams make me very self-conscious of my hands, and I give myself little grim green manicures before every stream. But there's your AFC. It does adjust down to a very a very small, a very small airflow hole. External airflow, but thankfully this also has internal airflow. And that's where, you know, that's where the good stuff really happens. Let's get this deck out of here. This, I'm assuming, ugh, yeah. That, nope, that's just kind of placed in there. That's just press fit in there. No threads, no O-rings. There's your chimney. Now this chimney, if you can look on the inside, it's a lot like the Aries too. It is a rounded chimney, rounded chimney. You like that French horn drip tip, Nephron? I love it. It's a rounded chamber in there, which we'll get there when we get there. But in my experiences, rounded domed chambers on the inside of RTAs and especially mouth to lung RTAs, it turns that flavor from good into, why does my juice taste weird? There's your deck. That's what you're working with. Real simple, straightforward deck. Two screws, a little K-funny. There's your wick cups. There's your airflow in the bottom. Now, to adjust these airflow pins, I was confused, grimacures, yeah, grim, grim manicures. I do it, it's fine. To get, I couldn't figure out how to get these little airflow pins out of here, making me insane because the, even on the bottom, there's no tool markings on this screw. There's not a flathead or a Phillips in there. So I'm thinking, how the hell do you get these out? Well, it turns out once you tighten your tank down altogether, you continue going. And this is reverse threaded down here. So you'll reverse thread your AFC off and that's your airflow pin right there. And that is the most openest one. I, uh, I took a few pulls with it, with the big one in here. Let's leave that big one in there. Whoops, I forgot this is reverse threaded. So if we leave the biggest one in there, up, oh, and we see now we have to uh, reverse threading, you know, it can throw you off sometimes. Now, this is the biggest airflow insert Super restricted lung inhale, not even close to a mouth to lung. 
super restricted lung inhale, which is nice, right? Diversity, that's what you're after. You want a tank that maybe can do mouth to lung, maybe can do mouth to lung and restricted lung. Now what we're gonna try to find here is the smallest airflow hole, which I think is I'm holding in my hand right there. Dolphinately. This one, this tiny one, is obviously going to be for the mouth to lung. I want tight mouth to lung on this, so I'm gonna replace this large pin. This just threads out, it's a tiny little thing, and we're gonna thread in the tiny little mouth to lung pinhole airflow. Look at that. So this can just drop back in here, and then this drops back on, and remember, find the threads and it's reverse. It's reverse threaded and it feels weird. Get that on. Now, when we look at the deck, we should see, yep, there's that tiny little airflow hole. Perfect. Well, now we got this ready to be built on. I'm gonna put it, can I put it on here? Sure. Let's just put it on this Odin 100 right now. I've got uh, four other single battery regulated mods just sitting, waiting to go. Wait until we can get all of these built and going. Good day to you, Mark. How's it going? One millimeter is the king, Raspa. One, Raspa says one millimeter is the king on it, Grim. I'm gonna move you down here, my man. One millimeter, well, that's what we're going with. That's what we're going with. I've been leaning towards more, more tight mouth to lung vapes like over the months, like over this year, I remember at the very beginning of this year, I was vaping that K-Fun Light 2019 and I was vaping my original K-Fun Light and those are pretty airy mouth to lungs. And then I got the Pioneer and I went, wait, what? I like this really tight. Okay, this is new. So the Pioneer is real tight. So after that, after the Pioneer ruined my life, I've just been slowly searching for more and more like tight mouth to lung, RTAs. One millimeter is small. Jake, one millimeter, I think one millimeter is too small. Personally, I like a 1.2 or a 1.5. One millimeter, real tight, but man, I mean, to each their own, right? To each their own. Cameron, uh, what's going on, Grim Green? Just got back into vaping after quitting for five years and going back to smoking, rocking my old trusty Snow Wolf 200. Welcome back, Cameron. Happy to have you. The world is your oyster, bro. There's so much good vape technology out there today. So much good vape tech out there. Let's back off these screws a little bit. That's going to be step A. Let's see how what distance we can get on these. Yep, that's the end right there. Okay, let's thread these back in just a little bit. That's about as far as you're going to get open. That's about as far as you're gonna get open. This could be maybe much more better suited for round wire than anything sort of fancy. But like I said, I got some British eyes only coils here. I think I wanna do, I don't remember which ones I wanna do. There's two, I have two Fibo coils here and I know it's not Fibo. Can we read these together? Is this a complete waste of time? So it's three 32 gauge cores, 40 gauge alien over it, Nichrome 80, two and a half millimeter. That sounds good. This one is, oh, this is the staple. This is the MTL staple, which I don't think is gonna fit in this deck. I don't think that's gonna fit in this deck. So let's go with the, uh, let's go with this MTL banger guy from, uh, from British Eyes. That sounds good. What do you think about the K Fun Five, Mike? Between you and me, between you and me, Mike, I'm not a huge fan of the K Fun Five. It's it's fine. It's good. It's a good K Fun. It's just not my favorite K Fun. That's how we're gonna leave that. Let's see. Am I gonna be able to get these in here? Ho ho ho! Oh my gosh! Nope. These, uh, these do not open quite up enough, I would say. I would say something similar to that. Dang. No, holy shit. 
Um, this appears to be, I mean, these aren't big coils by any stretch. And I don't know why I can't, oh no, okay, no, 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 seated in there. It's kind of seated in there now. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, with my hand in the way here, I'm gonna try to tighten these uh, screws down and actually capture these leads. Because if I can capture these leads, well then we'd be real, we'd be sitting real pretty. There's more room in here than I thought. I, I was really thinking like, shit, this might be a uh, round wire type of situation. But I don't think it is. Does that lead looks like it's getting captured well enough? Well, does it? I'm gonna pull this one through too. Okay, I'm just gonna, sorry, my fingers are over this right now. I feel like that lead's getting pretty well captured. Yeah. I mean, that looks like it's captured to me. It doesn't not look like it's not captured. It doesn't look like, yeah, okay, it kind of fits in there. Wow, that's pushing this to the limit. Whatever, how many cores, three cores in here, Feebo? <laughs> hey, Feebo, hey, Feebo, Feebo, how many cores? Three 32 gauge cores. That is pushing the limits of this RTA. Dual cores would probably fit in here much better. Triple cores, ooh, little bit of a tight fit, but we got it, Feebo. We got it. Feebo, don't even worry. Yeah, John, we're running long. Well, welcome to the Grim Green YouTube channel. You know what we do here. We run long. Let's clip, clip these leads as close as we can. Beautiful, Clark. That's a 10 out of 10 install. That's a 10, that is a 10 out of 10 install, John. Frank Miser, I don't even care. So that's a 10 out of 10. You can't convince me otherwise. It was actually really super easy to install. Those screws come out a pretty good distance. Like I said, this was kind of pushing the limits though of what's possible on this deck. Nope, not 60 watts. This is gonna be running on the Odin 100. So let's see what we can do. Get this glowing well. I guess I, should, I could put it on camera since it is a GD build stream. A little bit wonky over here in some spots, but that's okay. This is gonna glow well. Just like that, dude, just a few brushes. That's one of the things about mouth to lung and mouth to lung coils. It's never, it's never a nightmare, man. You can always, always get them glowing real evenly, real quickly. Now, if I was to take some cotton bacon and we're gonna, we're gonna jam some cotton in here, you can see there's cups for it, little catch cups for it. I might try to mic vapes this. I might try to mic vapes this and flip it, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. Nine out of 10? Jay, sold. I'll take it. Nine out of 10. I accept that. Oh, dang. Nick. See, Nick. I'm sorry, Jay. Nick's being really nice. 15 out of 10. Damn it. That's what I like to hear, Nick. Thank you. Yeah. Thick boys with little clamps. <laughs> Thick boys with little clamps. MTL. Look, I'm telling you, Chip. MTL is an intensely satisfying and flavorful way to vape. The problem is I don't have a preference between mouth to lung and cloud chasing. It's literally my whims. It's just whatever that day I feel like vaping or that moment I feel like vaping, that's what I'll use. And it's because like you, I grew up in the industry with mouth to lung. That's all we had for four years, I think was mouth to lung. So that's what I vaped and I got used to it. And then now that cloud chasing is a thing, it's like, oh, all right, I'll get into cloud chasing. This is fun. And now I crave cloud chasing the same way that I crave like a mouth to lung. Cotton, cotton's in there, breeze tones. There was no twisting going on, breeze tones. Even though you're not here, it's okay. I still, I'm still talking to you, breeze tones. 
But I think that's good. And I'm just going to eyeball, you know, like I usually do. I don't recommend it. But I just eyeball the cotton. I look at where it needs to go and I kind of just, boop, we'll just give it, give it a little bit of distance, you know, just give it some extra. Now these look like fairly large capture cups here. So I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna be able to mic vapes this, am I? I'm gonna have to do the grim green thumb. Thumb, thumb it in. There you go. Yeah, sure, that works. Let's get a flathead screwdriver. Should I have thinned out this cotton? I'm sure there's people in the chat telling me to thin out this cotton. I don't think I'm gonna thin out this cotton. I think that looks really good. And I don't think I need to thin it out, but now I'm second guessing myself. Damn it, Chip. Thin out the cotton, thin out the cotton. I'd rather eyeball something than eyeball see anything, than ball see anything. Yeah, 100%, Jake. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh good lord let's try to thumb this back in here you know the thumb I'll, I'll give it up to Mike man his little flip technique it's a thing of beauty when you see it happen and it works a lot better than the grim green thumb technique shout out to Mike Vapes alright kick ass like I'm stoked with that I'm stoked with that wicking I'm stoked with that cotton let's get some liquid on here now here's the bummer part I don't have any more blueberry I don't have any more blueberry to put in every single RTA so mm. I have Turkish cake I have enough Turkish cake, I think, to fill three RTAs. Let's do it. Let's put Turkish cake in all of these so that I have to re-wick them tomorrow. I'm actually putting juice on it this time, you guys. Oh, yeah, shit. There were some super chats that came in. I apologize. Let me get to those in just one second. It has been juiced. It has been wicked. Oh, dang. All right, there's some vapors happening right there. Some MTL style action vapors. Now, all we need to do is find the rest of the RTA. Um, ah, it rolled into no man's land over here. We have to find the rest of the RTA, kind of pop this back together. Just find the threads. If you keep going, yep, see, if you keep going, that airflow you know, the, the bottom's gonna come off so you can adjust that airflow pin. I wish they had put two layers of knurling. I wish there was a layer of knurling here and then a layer of knurling here because this inner one is where you need to grip to tighten it. And then this one you have to countersink down in there counterclockwise. Nope, <laughs> you'll just start unscrewing it. So this one goes, that way this one goes that way okay well shit here's to hope and it's all together here's to hope and it's all together correctly we're gonna unscrew this and blah we're gonna fill it up i don't know the exact capacity of this looks to be four and a half mils maybe four or five mils it's usually a safe bet most rtas are about four mils which with mouth to lung, you are not going to be cranking through. Okay, you're all together. I get sketchy on this, on this base, but okay. It's filled, Artemis, how long did that take? 45 minutes, all right. Now what we're gonna do, <laughs> let me, uh, I'll, I'll address these super chats really quickly. And then it's time to move into uh, wicking these sons of bitches up real quickly. But uh, anyway, hey, I appreciate you guys being here, coming out, hanging out. It's Monday and I'm lonely. Chip, hey Grim, happy new year. Uh, just got home uh, Just got home to a coffee and a fresh build stream. Fuck yeah, Chip, welcome. My day's going great. Uh, Bone Fog, how you been, Bone Fog? Sweet, not too late. Had to stop on the way home to get beer. Yeah, well, priorities, duh. You know, Patrick. No, that's not Patrick. That's Kane. I see you there, Kane, and I can't, still can't pronounce your first name. Big hello from Ireland. 
Uh, and man, MTL brings me back to the days of the Nautilus Mini. Also, name pronunciation is Poor Rick from the last stream. Yeah, Poor Poor Rick. Yeah, Rick. Kane. Kane. I'm just going to call you Kane. Is that okay? You want me to call you Poor Rick? Am I missing this? Is there an inside joke here? And you're like, Nick is not. Nick is just straight up not getting this. So what we're going to compare the Artemis to... Now that the Artemis has been built, is I'm going to wick these up. As you saw, Ares 2, reload. Do I need to do it every single time? Now, this has already been on a build stream, so it is what it is. The grossest coil on Earth. You think we can clean this coil? Is there saving this coil? Look how gross. That is straight up coil gore. That's disgusting, Nick. What are you doing? What are you doing? But I got another single 18650 banger here, ready to go. Sorry about those distortion lines. You can see them because it's because of my Philips Hue bulbs. But it's whatever. Let's wake this up real quick. As I said, this has already been on a build stream. So we were familiar with building it and wicking it. This is, uh, I don't even remember what liquid was in here. This might have actually been Turkish cake on here. Just why? Holy crap. But we'll get all this off. There we go. See, it doesn't take much, you know? It doesn't take much to do just a quick little rewick. And really, what I should be doing is rinsing this out completely, like taking it to the sink, rinsing it, wiping the crud and carbon off of there. Sometimes if you leave, if I leave it like this, chances are I'm going to taste this. I'm going to taste this crud down here. I'm going to taste whatever buildup is down there. You should be cleaning these sonic, uh, sonic cleaner. Rinse them under hot water. For the sake of build streaming today, we're just going with it. We're just running with it. <laughs> Same basic idea. That's what we're gonna run into with a lot of these mouth to lung RTAs. It's just, it's kind of all based on the same idea. You got two posts, you got airflow that comes from the bottom. Sometimes you can adjust that airflow on the bottom. Sometimes you can't. And then you got wick catch cups. And then, and then, then, then that's your RTA. It's kind of like, uh, you know, I don't know. It's kind of like cars, right? Four tires, car. No, oh, I should do this on camera. This is the boring part, though. We're just wicking the intake. MTL, RTA. I don't think I'm going to fluff my wicks on this either, man. Have I fluffed my, did I fluff my wicks on the last build stream of the intake MTL? For some reason, I don't think I did. Let's eyeball again. Yep, that ends up a little bit long. Let's eyeball this. Take, take you edges off there. That's cool too. Intake, MTL, RTA. And we're gonna put the same Turkish cake in here. I'm really bummed, I wish I had more of that blueberry so I could have eight MTL RTAs all with the same blueberry in it. That would be amazing. But, just don't have it. Might have been a little bit too much cotton on this side, but that's okay because we can poke holes in it to accelerate the, uh, the wicking. This is something I'm a firm believer in hole poking in your cotton instead of instead of fluffing it as you were or thinning it out i just take the sharpest end of my tweezers and i puncture i add holes to it you know you thin it out pull this back a little bit thin it out holes speed holes that's what they are i heard they're speed holes Uh, what was that? A super chat that came in there. Sorry about that. Uh, oh, don't have my glasses on. I'm, st I'm a streamer. What well, I stream Uh big hello from Ireland. That's right. Uh, Reed been vaping on the berserker 1.5 for a little over a year now. What's your gut instinct recommendation for a new MTL tank? I need something new. Well, you thankfully you got four of them in front of you today. And where there were four last week as well out of all of them, Look, you have a lot of choices. The intake MTL, tits. The ether from Bogan, pretty tits. 
higher end stuff. The K-Fund can be a little bit expensive. I'm not sure how much this Cthulhu is. Does anybody want to fact check uh, Fact check and see how, how expensive this uh, Artemis is? But you have a lot of options out there. I would recommend, honestly, I would recommend anything in today's build stream and anything in last week's build stream. They're all bangers that I really enjoy. Joshy, my goshy, Nick, uh, you get everything catch live only for a second. It's all right, Joshy. I know that you are the king of the, the replay crew, so it's cool. I love seeing you here live, but I can always count on Joshy, my goshy, for hitting up that replay crew. Appreciate that. So now we're wicked. Trying to vape while you build. Let's put some liquids on here. Same basic idea. This isn't rocket surgery. We've seen this done at least a quadrillion times, maybe more. Let's check the wattage, 12 watts. That's kind of exactly where I want it. Yeah, maybe a little bit more wattage, huh? <laughs> it is a 0.7, so let's do uh, 14 watts. How much VAPS does that give us? Yeah, a little bit better. All right, so first things first, I'm going to pop that off. I'm going to wipe this out. It's already like brown. Do you see how it already turned brown? That's because I didn't clean this well enough. That's why I didn't. It's happening because I didn't clean this well enough. But we can screw this together. Boop like that. And then we can take our liquid. Boop like this. How are we doing on time? We're running way over, aren't we? Boop, Turkish cake on the inside. We haven't vaped anything yet, just building. Or wicking, rather, this stage of the game. This is the wicking stage. Good? Good airflow? Ooh, that airflow is tight on the Artemis. Wow. I think I'm going to enjoy that. Uh, next, reload. Let's spend a little bit of time rewicking this reload. Wasn't a big fan. Yeah, it's the uh, it's the Turkish cake, so it kind of just comes dark. I wasn't a huge fan of this particular MTL RTA. Let me give you a shot of the deck here. But that's your deck. And again, same basic idea. Two posts, capture your leads, wick holes on the side, and then you have airflow underneath that is mesh mesh airflow underneath and then all of your additional airflow is going to come from the top there is this top afc right here if i can unscrew this come on man see this is obnoxious this is the obnoxious reload afc that i can't even fucking open god damn it Un. Yeah, there you go. Unthreads to reveal holes. That's how you control the AFC. This is a terrible idea for mouth to lung. On cloud chasing and restricted lung, sure, absolutely. Give yourself a weird sort of ambiguous threaded airflow controller. For mouth to lung, dude, just pins underneath the coil. I don't know why nobody, <laughs> I don't know why people don't do that. Let's have a threaded uh, threaded AFC. So that was A, something I wasn't super stoked about with this mouth-to-lung RTA. I don't like the airflow on this particular mouth-to-lung RTA either. The mesh underneath the coil makes it feel very uh, hyper-spongy. Just hyper-spongy. We got 0.8. Yeah, let's glow this. See, we're almost done. Just kidding. I just don't... Uh, I'm not a big fan. Is there anybody in the house that's a big fan of the reload? Let me know. Be interested to know that know that information. Because I out of all the mouth to lung RTAs I've tried, this is one of my least favorites. Uh, let's turn the wattage up to a reasonable level. Yep, it's gonna glow evenly, easily, perfectly, flawlessly, the first time. I'm gonna get this is a smaller diameter coil. Straight up two millimeters. Dang, straight up two millimeter coil in there. That's okay. We can deal. We can deal, man. Uh, this is the Vaporesso little swag guy. Swag guy. 
I uh, it sat in my closet for a really long time, and I kept looking at it and kept looking at it and kept looking at it. And one day I broke it out, and I was like, I like this thing. I like this thing. Uh, people have told me that the gold flakes off on this. People have told me that the gold flakes off on something else recently that I just I just got. Um, it's a thing that happens. I'm not a huge fan of it, but it is a thing that happens. Man, I am royally messing up this cotton. I haven't experienced it with this yet, but that doesn't mean that doesn't mean much, you know. You just have to be wary of things like that. You just have to be wary. Okay, that should be perfect for two millimeters. Okay, right. I never know how much cotton to do for a two millimeter. I feel like it's never enough cotton. That's actually pretty good. It's actually pretty snug in there. We're going to eyeball. We're going to snip. We're going to eyeball. We're going to snip. And we're going to stuff. Thrilling. Oh, uh, that's not enough cotton. Watch this. Boop. Nope. Hi, I don't know how to pull off cotton for two millimeters, apparently. Okay, hoping that this one will work. <laughs> like, this is too thick. This is too big. Ugh, I'm not good at this. All right. Oh, that, that's much better. Oh, be careful. Yeah, see, it's too tight. Okay. Whew. That was snug enough to kind of uh, mess with my coil a little bit. I wasn't very stoked on that. There we go. There's a good trim. Boop. There we go. There's a good trim. This is an RTA that I almost feel like I do have to thin out my wicks. It, it was never been an issue. Wicking has never been an issue on this RTA. It was really just, I don't like the way it feels. It feels bad. It feels bad, man. All right. So we got the Aries last. Reloads now. And then at the end of this, it's going to be worth it. We're going to vape eight MTL tanks. Like, whoops. Yeah, see, I cut these too short. This is why you don't eyeball, everybody. This is why you shouldn't eyeball. Let's switch tools so I stop messing this up. Ah! This is why you don't eyeball. Feel like that's in there. Okay, I feel like that's in there too. I, this this would have benefited from some longer wicks for sure. This would have benefited from some longer wicks for sure. Uh, do the upwards backwards triangle? What nephron? That doesn't make any sense. Uh, cotton, C-O-T-N, sells lengths of cotton in two, two and a half, and three. Oh, really? That's really interesting. Ah, that's really interesting. I like that. What's up, The View Chaser? How you doing? It's top airflow. You'll be fine. Thanks, Rick. Appreciate that vote of confidence, man. Now let's, uh, let's, let's do the same thing we've been doing. We've got one more to go after this. Can we fire it? Vapors, normal view, normal view. All right. I'm going to pre-adjust my airflow because it's kind of a pain in the ass on this thing. Ugh. In fact, I'm just going to take this airflow off for now so that I can screw this down on here unfettered. Unfettered. So then we can screw the airflow back on. And I'm going to adjust it to keep the, that little airflow hole like, like that, I guess. Maybe something like that. That's, I mean, that looks good to me. Does that look good to you, Nephron? Nephron, you're one of those people that I, when I see you here, I just like to say your name. I like to ask random questions and then I like, I'll say, I'll be like, Nephron, right? I do it. I do it to try to confuse you, but I think you're too smart for that. All right. 
We're getting close. There's the reload. It's built. Here's where we're at. We're three in right now. Four more, one more to do. Four more to do. Who said that? Really, I should put the Cthulhu on the Has Tour, right? Because it's a Cthulhu product. Cthulhu on Cthulhu. I feel like that's the way to go. If I have a Cthulhu RTA, it should go on a Cthulhu mod. Yeah, gear. That looks pretty sick. All right, so lastly, now we're going to build the Ares 2 on top of the Odin. And... What's funny is I looked in this and what's inside this Ares 2 is a spaced round wire build. I was really going for a hard Phil and Dimitri vibe here, I guess, with some round wire spaced build, Nephron. Round wire spaced build. So we're just gonna glow it, but same basic idea. They kind of turn these clamps a little bit sideways on the Ares 2. Same idea though, you have those threaded cups right there. Airflow's on the outside. Done a review for this. But you can also adjust the airflow underneath your coil. If you wanna learn about that, you're just gonna to have to go watch a review because I'm not gonna go through the whole airflow system of the Aries today, but you can, if you are skilled enough and if you have a flathead screwdriver, you can adjust this little uh, threaded guy under here and uh, really close off or tighten up your airflow. Let's tighten it up. Tighten it up all the way. That is a fully tightened Aries 2. Oh yeah, that wasn't even on camera, Nick. I'll be issuing Super Chat refunds if you're unsatisfied with this stream. Just kidding, I'm not. So let's see. Round wires. <sighs> Round wires should go glow evenly and instantly. Evenly and instantly, every single time. Oh, that might work. No, this is not enough cotton. Let's check the diameter of these coils first. Hi, three millimeters, okay. So now I have to tear off three millimeters worth of cotton bacon prime cotton, which they're not a sponsor anymore, just so you know. They were sponsoring the podcast for a while, but no more podcast, no more sponsor. Oh man, I am like my anticipation level is so high for these tanks and so high for this uh, Artemis. Artemis. Okay. Spaced coils whicked with beautiful white cotton bacon. You know, that's not, uh, it's looking pretty rough. It's all right. We're going to vape through this. I'm going to leave these guys a little bit longer just because they're, the, the catch cups for your wicks are a lot lower on this than they are on some other RTAs. And I don't know what that's due to. Maybe it's due to fitting that giant like airflow controller underneath. That could very well be. It's a big airflow controller. It's like a big nut <laughs> of an airflow controller. I really, sh I probably should have thinned these wicks out. It's okay. I'm gonna use the pokey technique and see if that improves it. I've always go with the pokey technique over the, the thinning technique. But that's really more or less what you're after. That looks good to me. Now let's do some uh, juice flow poking. Yeah, and it's a satisfying feeling. Like, I don't know if anybody's ever done this, the whole like poke holes in your cotton thing, but it's a really satisfying feeling. And in, in my opinion, it helps with the air uh, wicking tremendously. All right, last one, man. Here we go. I can't believe we're almost done. How long have we been going? Too long. We haven't even vaped them yet. <laughs> Holy shit. It's, did it seriously take me a half hour to re-wick three RTAs? That just seems goofy to me. Goofy balls. All right. What's your 12 watts? Sure. 
Oh, yeah, okay. There's some vapors happening. So we're going to screw this down on here like this. As soon as we can find those threads, easy enough. And the Aries 2 is a push. So it's a push, push to fill. Get a real close up of that bottle going in. Yeah, real nice. Can't beat big nut. Nope, you can't. You can try to beat a big nut, but good luck. That's what you know. That's what I have to say. Good luck beating a big nut. Woo! Three, four more mouth to lung. Can I even get these on camera? Four more mouth to lung. R T A's, you guys. Out of control. Um, so let's do, uh, nope, let's just go, uh, let's do this. There it is. Hey, everybody. How you guys doing today? Good to finally see, good to see you. So what we just spent the last hour doing is mouth to lung. We built the Artemis, we wicked the Artemis, we wicked the reload, we wicked the intake, and we wicked the Aries too. I'm a big mouth to lung guy. Like I was saying earlier, I have been using the four mouth to lungs that I set up last week. And I'll give you a little bit of an update because I have been using in this order, K-Fun Lite plus the newest version the most. Could be because it's on this mix and I just really, really like this mix. But this has been like my go-to mouth to lung setup. The nike -er, appreciate you nike -er, this has been it. Second place is the Pioneer. Pioneer's been banging. I, I switched the liquid in here. It, it doesn't have blueberry liquid in here anymore, but this is the Jake Scrapwood. Shout out to you, my man. Jake Scrapwood, I got years of battery life on this with the mouth to lung RTA on top. Ether is still on the uh, Vupu. This is as much as I vaped the Ether. Haven't filled this since the last build stream. It's just not my favorite mouth to lung. I mean, it's good. I just find myself grabbing for the K-Fun and the Pioneer way more. And then the Dwarf. So the Dwarf has been vaping great, but the flavor on the Dwarf's been dildos only because, like I said today, I didn't clean it out enough last week. I left too much gunky residue crap in there and it's affecting the flavor. It tastes like blueberry uh, if you pan seared your blueberries. It's like pan, <laughs> pan seared blueberries. but the crackle and the quality from the dwarf top notch. Let's just let's dig into the new mouth to lungs. New mouth to lungs. If you're talking about the ether sideshow bob, ah, sideshow bob. If you're talking about the ether sideshow bob, this is an old uh, vicious ant drip tip from back in the day. Look at this number. Look how slick that looks. We got the Cthulhu uh has tour Topped with the Cthulhu Artemis. This is a, a 0.6, 13 and a half watts. Tight airflow. What's that? The 1.2 pin, the 1.5 pin? Tight, 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 tight airflow. Turkish cake, first vape on the Artemis. Cheers, guys. Really, really nice. Really nice airflow, smooth as hell. I love the tiny drip tip. This is my favorite part of the Artemis so far. Wish I was getting a little bit more crackle from those Feebo coils, but that's okay. Really nice vape. The, the shining star of this is two things. This drip tip, which is completely subjective. If you don't like dorky drip tips, just throw a regular drip tip on there. But IMO, here, we can put a, uh, the Artemis comes with a smoky drip tip as well as a smoky glass. So you can have a smoky glass, smoky drip tip or regular glass dorky drip tip. Here, let's try out the small drip tip for the people that are scared of dork, dorky drip tips. Mm-hmm. humongous rubber band effect with this RTA and I love it. I am loving it. I talked about this in the vlog. 
It's the rubber band effect. It's the idea of imagine in your head a rubber band and you stretch it out and then you slowly let it release back into your hand. Stretch it out and slowly pull it back. That's how I feel with mouth to lung tank sometimes where I'll take my draw and then I'll kind of ease off and let the RDA or let the tank do the rest of the work. It's like rubber band, like, or like a syringe. Someone said syringe. Like if you pull the syringe into a cup of liquid and you give it that big pull, but then the liquid slowly fills up. That's what I'm talking about. That rubber band effect. And you get that rubber band effect in spades with this Artemis in spades, at least with the smaller, smallest airflow, the 1.2 millimeter airflow underneath. Mm-hmm. It's dense. It's pretty damn flavorful. I was really skeptical of that rounded chamber in there because that usually means that the flavor is not going to be as good as something with a angles with that are harder, sharper angles translate into better flavor in my opinion. Now, this is the one I'm most fascinated by. I want to try this Aries 2 really bad. This has the round wire, spaced round wire in it, same liquid. 15 watts, cheers. Hi, let's open up some airflow. Any airflow at all would help. Yeah, that's tight, tight. I closed off that airflow underneath the coil and this is a tight mouth to lung right now. Mm -hmm. No crackle. No, maybe just the Aries just has bad flavor. The Aries has that same rounded conical design on the inside of the chimney, and maybe it's the round wire, right? I'm comparing a round wire spaced coil to a Febo fused Clapton, multi-core fused Clapton. So maybe that's giving me better flavor, but as it stands right now, the Artemis has loads better flavor than the Aries, loads. Loads. loads better flavor than the Aries. Aries isn't bad. With that airflow closed down, it gets to be a nice, tight MTL. And really, what the Aries has going for it is it's got that real easy deck. You just, your coils go straight down. There's no fishing them into holes. There's no fishing them in between screws. It's like simplicity. Drop them down, wicket vape. It's still my least favorite. I like the ether more than I like that Aries too, I think. Now the intake, there should be no surprises with the intake MTL. We did this last week, I, I or not last week, a few weeks ago, banger of an MTL, banger of an MTL tank. I can taste that crap underneath the coil. I can taste it. It is very open. I'm surprised that this is so open. It's okay, Chelsinator, don't even trip. We're just at the very end and I just finally am vaping these. Yeah, dude, the, the intake MTL kind of rules. It doesn't have under the airflow adjustment, but it does have a top-down airflow that you can close off and make a fairly tight it does not get as tight as anything on the table though. But it is nice. It is smooth. It is nice and it is smooth. Flavorful? Yeah, definitely. I'm still getting crap though. I'm still getting crap in there. Uh, had a, a couple super chats pop in there. Yeah, I think so. Joshy, my gosh, he was there. Mums, how you doing from Germany? Don't worry for a beginner. Not that bad. <laughs> Greetings from Germany. Greetings back to you. Oh, Southern Comfort's here on a Monday. Been riding. Stopped to take a dump. Tuned in. You know, we, we call that uh, blowing mud there, Southern Comfort. Add that to your repertoire of words. Appreciate you being here. Enjoy your ride. Enjoy your ride. Did you make a video yet of you revving the, your motorcycle? Shouting, this is for you, Grim Green. Still waiting for that. Okay. 
Mic Vapes, Intake MTL. I mean, it's a banger. It's a good MTL tank. I really like it. It's very well-rounded. It's real straightforward. Mike designed it, so everything's, here's where your leads go, here's where your wicks go, here's how you fill it, you vape it. And plus, I mean, Mike is a, a really good dude. He's a staple in the industry, and I, I, I like both. I like it when I can support people directly. Like I like supporting Mike Vapes through his intake MTL, you know? I think that goes a long way. I would rather give my money to someone like Mike that took the time to design and release something, you know? Just goes a long way in my book. It's a banger. I really wish I had cleaned it better. Still though, Still, and it, but it doesn't get as tight as everything else on my desk. Now, lastly, this reload junky guy. I don't like this reload mouth to lung RTA. I didn't like it when it came out. I don't like it now. It never got a review. It's just kind of cruddy and it's just kind of, I don't, I kind of just don't like it. The airflow, I would describe it as bad. I would describe it as bad. Sp spongy airflow. <sighs> I can't. Uh, <sighs> oh, God. I hope I don't get the hiccups right now. Okay. Whew. Doesn't have consistent airflow. It has spongy airflow. Let's turn up the voltage a little bit on this. Turn up. Nope. 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 Why? Oh, that's the menu button. I'm new to this swag too. 13 watts, let's give it a try. 13 watts, reload. Ah, it's okay. It's purely okay. Just okay. I, it's hard for me to say anything nice about this RTA because it's just not very good. It's very okay. It's very mediocre. It's, it's very mediocre. Out of the four today, uh, it's probably going to shake down like this. No huge surprises, right? Artemis, pow, loving this. Loving the draw. It is so, so smooth. It's so crazy hyper smooth. Flavor's real nice. I get a little bit of crackle from the coils. Really, the drip tip is the shining star. And aesthetically, I think that is just sick as tea. I think that's rad. Hydrate. Good call, Rick. Thank you. Appreciate that. So the clear winner today is the Artemis. I am, uh, I'm really enjoying this. Fairly easy to build. I wish it had bigger, bigger gaps for your leads to go into, but that's really he neither here nor there. You can throw dual core, Claptons or aliens in there with no problem. Triple core Claptons and aliens struggle a little bit, but honestly, it, it's machined real nice, fits together real well. It is a little weird switching out that airflow pin because of the reverse threading on the bottom. It's just something that you're, if you have this, you just have to get used to it. I'm not used to having reverse threaded things on my, uh, you know, on my RTAs or RDAs. So it's kind of something I have to adjust to. Exterior airflow makes no difference if you have those pins in the middle. It's That is glorious. That is a glorious mouth to lung. Good throat hit. Good flavor. Good flavor. Man, this having good flavor ruins my whole rounded dome theory. That was a theory that I've had my entire vape career. I'm like rounded chimneys and rounded domes equal less good flavor. That was my operating theory. And now Artemis comes along and is like, nope, that's not true because this is rounded and it's got bang in, bang in flavor. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. First place, easily hands down first place. Out of the four today, the second place is gonna be Mike. Intake, MTL, RTA, tried and true. Uh, it's just a, a really well-designed, straightforward mouth-to-lung RTA. Doesn't get quite as tight 
as some other ones, but for me, subjectively, that's something that doesn't bother me. Now, between you two sons of bitches, these are probably the, the bottom two of the whole deal, right? Of the whole eight, these are probably going to be in the bottom. I'm going to say I like the Aries 2 a little bit more than the Reload. The Reload is just so wholly objectionable to me. I don't like it. I don't like the way it vapes. I don't like the feeling that I get from it. It gives me no good rubber band effect. It gives me nothing that I'm really super excited about. It's just, unfortunately for Reload, which is usually full of bangers, it's just a very mediocre mediocre RTA, and I think I like the Aries 2 more than the Reload MTL. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's definitely how today is shaken out. Now, the hard part is if we're going to rate all of these. Let me give me one second here to rate all of these. These are like the top three, man. Are you going to be surprised? The K Fund, the Pioneer, and the Artemis, out of out of all eight, I think these are like my top three mouth to lung tanks. The Pioneer and the Artemis look and feel pretty evenly matched. The idea that you can swap out pins, ah, you got that going. Similar style, similar top fill, similar draw, similar airflow, similar flavor. These two are just neck and neck, very similar, similar RTAs. Very similar RTAs. They vape similar and they feel similar. I think the K-Fun Lite 2019, no, the K-Fun Lite Plus, the newest K-Fun Lite Plus that I can never remember like its official title, I think that's still coming out on top of all of these. Now, if I had to put these in some other order, let's say I'll put the Intake, then the Dwarf, then the Ether, then the Aries, then the Reload. Okay, there it is. That's my final. Can you see this? <laughs> Probably not. Nope. Let's see if I can uh, get some hot full setups action. Here, here's the final lineup. You can't see it. We're going to go from first place to second place. First place. This is it. This is the K-Fun. I know they should all be clean and they should all have the same fresh build. Mike P, look, if I had thought ahead, <laughs> that would have been really good. Here's the thing. You know, I vape these tanks quite a bit. They should have all been cleaned. Some of them are dirtier than others, and I'm taking that into account. You know, this is a weighted, this is a weighted survey. This is a weighted study. And I think coming out on first place after two build streams and eight tanks total, it's the new K-Fun. I just love it. It's not that it's particularly easy to fill or anything because it is a bottom fill and that is kind of a pain in the ass. In fact, using it on this mix is even kind of more of a pain in the ass. I just love it. It's worth it the way that it vapes. It's worth it the way that it vapes. Uh, how do I add? Uh... Oh, okay, that works too. <laughs> K-Fun, first place, second place, Sitting on the Jake Scrapwood, it's the Pioneer. I, I, this MTL RTA came out of nowhere, came out of nowhere and just surprised the hell out of me. And I just love the crap out of it. And it's the Pioneer. The Artemis is right now is sitting in third place. Maybe after some more use, it might become like my daily, daily banger. As it stands right now, this is ticking a lot of boxes for me variable, nice adjustable airflow with center pins where it's supposed to be adjusted right underneath your coil. Super slick, clean, aesthetic. I love it. I even like this little cut, like this cut right here. I love that. I really like the aesthetics of this tank that's sitting firmly in third place. Mike Vapes here. Mike Vapes intake, MTL, you know? It's just, it is what it is. It's a banger and... It doesn't get as tight as a lot of them up here, but it still offers uh, what I consider to be a very delightful mouth to lung. Hmm. It's just real smooth. It's just real smooth. The dwarf is below the intake. The dwarf is below the intake. And that's just like these are kind of, 
interchangeable. Like these are both jockeying for this position. We'll say that these are together in the same position. Same position, the dwarf. Both of these suffer from needing to be cleaned out. That's what they both suffer from. But I'm taking that into account and they're still kick ass. Ether, what position is this? Uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, fifth position. Since these are in both in fourth position, fifth position is the ether. I don't know. The ether's a little bit of a sleeper. It, there wasn't like so much hype around it. Bogan did an MTL, and I was surprised to see a Bogan do an MTL, but he did a bang in MTL. The airflow gets meh, a little bit spongy, but not the end of the world. Certainly not the end of the world. And then the two last places are going to be the Aries 2, unfortunately, and then this reload. I've already talked about them so much that I feel like I, I, I don't need to, to talk about them anymore. <laughs> I've already talked about them so much, but that's where we're going to leave this, you guys. Uh, my only question is if flat earth gives better flavor than domed earth, does turtle earth give better flavor than flat earth? Um, it, the order, I mean, really, if you want to know tofu, it goes domed earth, turtle earth, flat earth. That's the flavor levels. The flavor levels. That that's how it uh, that's how it shakes out. Yet really, the participation trophy. It, it the, the, this gets the participation trophy. Maybe the Aries as well. Both of these get participation trophies. And look, I'm not expecting the Aries two to be able to go head to head with something like the K Fund. Right? The K Fund is a hundred dollar plus RTA you know, machined in Germany. The, K, the, the Aries 2 is just a Chinese $30 RTA. So you can't expect them to, to go up against each other. The Pioneer has really, I mean, that's given the K-Fun a run for its money. So I guess that uh, that goes right out the window too. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised the Ether's that high too. It's just that after using these all at the same time, it's a little bit easier to kind of get them you know, dial them in and get them like really get your thoughts out on them. So here's where we're at. It's the Artemis. I've been enjoying it. I'm going to continue enjoying it. We'll do a little update maybe in the vlog, see how the Artemis has been handling. I almost feel like this needs a little bit more wattage too. We're going to live on the wild side and end up at 15 watts, 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 watts. Southern Comfort. Oh, we got one from Matt Sinister. Drinking juice and blowing mud. <laughs> hashtag juice feast hashtag mud Matt Sinister damn it congratulations on your uh, juice cleanse though I, I I admire the fuck out of you uh, not yet but I promise I will I got you a package on the way from me it's gonna be so tits Southern Comfort can't wait bro cannot wait hope you're doing good down there in Florida anyway as for everybody else the rest of you folks thank you thank you for coming out Thank you for coming to hang out with me on a Monday. Uh, really looking forward to this particular build stream, digging into some MTLs. Uh, I think next week I'm going to dig out some of my like top tier RDAs. You know, I always talk about my upper echelon of RDAs that are like the top of the top supreme RDAs. Let's get them back out. Let's build them. Let's judge them all over again, all over again. And I'm I think that's a good idea. So we're going to be doing that next week. What mod am I using the Artemis on? This is a mod from Cthulhu. This is their uh, Has Tour single 18650, 24 millimeters. These look like they were made for each other. They kind of were a little bit made from, for each other. And I love it from the front because it just looks like a mech. It looks like a slick, clean little mech. That's a banger. Banger. It was. It was Monday today, Sergio. I wasn't, I don't know, you know, <laughs> but it is Monday, I think. All right, JT Von Bass, I appreciate that. Let's wrap this up, you guys. Um, one more time. Thank you so much for coming to hang out. I really very much appreciate it. Um, we're just doing this and I'm going to keep doing this and it's 2021 and I don't know what I'm saying right now, but thank you guys seriously so much for coming out. Remember, that no matter what anybody tells you, even if it's Neferon, remember that no matter what anybody tells you, vaping is at least, probably more, but at least, at bare minimum, 
95% less harmful than burning deadly combustible tobacco cigarettes, you guys. So yeah, no matter what is in your hand, let's discredit the myth-making machine and absolutely, let's keep on vaping, guys. Peace out. Be excellent to each other.